Have you ever wondered if you're going to end up single forever? Living a life without a partner can be unfathomable for many people. Some people may not even get a chance to be in a relationship, whether out of their choice or out of circumstance. Of course, you have the power to change your destiny. If you don't plan to be single forever, being aware of the reasons that might be keeping you single might help you change that. With that said, here are some of the signs you may be single forever. 1. You're not letting new people enter your life. Are you rejecting the thought of meeting new people? People are social beings, and meeting someone new is a big part when it comes to dating. By closing off your doors to the thought of others, you're passing up the opportunity to meet new people that you may click with. You could be closing others off out of fear of being rejected or having low self-esteem issues. But by doing that, you'll have little chance of finding someone for whom you may end up developing feelings. 2. You're not willing to try new things. Are you doing the same routine day in and day out? Binge watching movies for hours and de-stressing from your usual activities is soothing and occasionally necessary, but dedicating all of your free time to that can prevent you from trying out new things. Doing fun things doesn't have to be an all at once effort. It can be as simple as integrating a new habit into your weekly routine, like going out for a nice walk or meeting new people and friends online. This can expose you to new things or new people that can lead to something more. 3. You're not over your ex. Are you still stuck in past relationships? The pain that a messy breakup can cause a person can lead them to feel stuck in the past and incapable of moving on from a relationship that's moved on. It can lead you to feel emotionally trapped, even if you know deep inside that it's something you should let go of. One way to move on is by cutting off contact with them through social media sites and consulting a therapist. It's a slow process, but with effort and time, you can get back on track and learn to love again. 4. You're still waiting. Do you think your perfect person will come soon? Maybe you're reserving your heart for someone. Maybe you feel that no one is right for you just yet. It's okay to have standards, but if you fail to be optimistic for anyone that doesn't fit the perfection checklist, it'll be near impossible to move on from being single. No relationship can be devoid of any minor flaws. That's just how it is to be human. It's in growing together and working through these differences where you can feel that the relationship never needed to be perfect, just real. 5. You have major trust issues. Do you have trouble trusting other people? Trust issues can be the cause of a traumatic childhood experience, a failed relationship, or a bad upbringing. A healthy relationship is founded on honest communication and trust. And if you or anyone you know had their trust hurt before, you may find relationships as avenues where you can get hurt all over again. You don't want to open your heart to another person again and expose yourself to vulnerability, so you'd rather stay single to comfort yourself from the pain. 6. You genuinely don't want to be in a relationship. Are you afraid of commitment or are you turned off from the idea of pursuing a romantic relationship? For some people, the concept of living with one person for the rest of their lives sounds taxing. Some people don't like the commitment being in a relationship entails and would rather go on flings or maintain a tight group of friends as their means of social support. Some people can't see themselves in a relationship due to unhealed commitment issues as well. Or you could be aromantic or just simply completely uninterested in the idea of a relationship. That's okay too. If the intent isn't there, then you're likely not to stumble in a relationship. Do you think you'll be single forever? Did you relate to these signs? Even if you do, remember that your life situation can be very different in just a year or even a week. Things won't always be like this. Plus, you don't have to rush things. Your life isn't on a schedule where you have to meet someone before a certain age. If you're not ready for a relationship, then you're not ready and that's okay. If you find this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find insight in this too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Until next time.